Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, we're going to explore a new and exciting way to create an employee onboarding data dashboard using Microsoft 365 Planner. Here is a preview of what's to come in this tutorial. Like setting up grids where you can mark tasks as completed with a simple check or uncheck. Effortlessly change start. And end dates. Modify buckets for each task. Change progress status to in progress or completed. Or priority urgent to low with a single click. Next, we'll utilize the board view for an organized and visual approach to task management. By clicking on any bucket or task, a pop-up will appear, allowing you to make further modifications such as adding department or team labels. Adding notes. Adding checklist for subclassification of tasks. Attachments and much more. This drag and drop interface is ideal for ensuring everything stays on track. Next, we'll dive into charts to provide a visual summary of your project, helping you quickly identify trends and potential bottlenecks. And finally, we'll leverage the schedule to map out timelines, ensuring every task is completed on time. Whether you're an HR professional, a manager, or just someone looking to streamline the onboarding process, this tutorial is for you. So let's make managing new hires a breeze. Start by opening Microsoft Planner and click Create a Plan. Select New Blank Plan. And name it Employee Onboarding and hit Create. The first bucket is titled To Do By Default. Rename this bucket to Pre-Employment. Next, add additional buckets by selecting Add New Bucket and name this bucket as Workspace Preparation. Similarly, we'll add three more buckets and name them as Orientation, Training, and Post Armboarding. Move to the grid view to begin adding tasks under each bucket. Click Title to create a new task. We'll handle assignments at a later stage. For now, let's focus on entering the start date either manually or by selecting the appropriate date from the default calendar. Repeat the same to choose end date. You will notice the red highlight on the end date, indicating a delay, as the task was set to end in August 2024, and we're now in September. I will use dates from August, September, and October accordingly to demonstrate the status of each task. Next, from the drop-down menu, choose the bucket to which the task belongs, which in this case will be pre-employment. We will address progress and priority management at a later stage. Respecting your valuable time, let's expedite this process by efficiently populating data for all remaining tasks across the various buckets. It will include some important tasks like job offer and documentation, background checks and contracts, IT and workspace setup, orientation session, application training and practice, probation and performance review etc. This will help us streamline our workflow and achieve our goals efficiently by staying organized and on track. Once completed, we will proceed to fill in the priority fields, categorizing each task as urgent, important, medium, or low based on its specific requirements. Now, let's switch to the board view to see all tasks organized under their respective buckets. This will give us a clear visual representation of our progress and help us identify any areas that need immediate attention. For managing task details, Click on any task to view or edit its information. For the first task, job offer and documentation, we will add relevant details, including notes. Additionally, we can scroll down to the checklist section to include specific action items, such as 1. Send job offer. 2. Confirm acceptance. And 3. Collect necessary documents. Close the dialog and return to the board view. You'll now be able to see the checklist displayed under the job offer and documentation task, along with the count of checklist completed. Likewise, you can select the background checks and contracts task within the pre-employment bucket to add necessary notes. Additionally, include a checklist with key action items, such as 1. Initiate background checks. 2. Review reports and 3. Finalize contracts. By clicking on Attachments, you can easily add any relevant files or supporting documents to the task. You can include multiple checklists and decide whether to display them on the board page by tick-marking Show on Cards. 
To save time, let's move quickly and similarly add checklists for other tasks in each bucket. Examples include procure equipment, install software, issue access cards, distribute policy documents, prepare training materials, and prepare performance reports, among others. Next, click on any task. And then click to add labels. Microsoft Planner provides default labels with color codes that you can customize. To do this, click on a label, select change, and rename it to fit your needs, such as HR. Then click to insert the label into the relevant task to indicate which department is responsible. You can assign multiple labels to a task if it involves various departments or teams. For example, the background checks and contracts task can be labeled for both the HR and legal departments, so we will customize the available label to legal. You can now see the labels reflected on the grid page. We'll quickly add other labels using the same steps, such as Legal, Procurement, Admin, Security, Manager, Training Team, and other labels. These labels will be added to tasks in other buckets. All the customized labels will be saved automatically, allowing us to reuse them in the current onboarding plan without having to customize them again. With separate colors, this provides a clear overview, making it easier to identify tasks assigned to multiple departments or teams, which enhances collaboration and efficiency. You can easily move tasks between different buckets or change their priority by dragging and dropping. Additionally, you can mark a task as complete with a single click, or mark individual checklist items within the task. This will reflect the completed and remaining checklist count, making it quick and easy to track progress and update the task status directly from the board view. Furthermore, you can also click on any task to update its progress as completed or in progress. And you can also click on any task to mark or unmark the checklist with an instant remaining and complete count. All the activities and changes in the plan will automatically send notifications to all members responsible for achieving the employee onboarding goal within the plan group. Now, let's move to charts. Microsoft Planner automatically generates charts based on the input data. These charts offer visual insights into task progress, showing the number of tasks that are unassigned, completed, late, or in progress. In chart view, Task statuses can be updated as well from task pan on the right. We can track task progress with visual indicators like bar and column charts which are readily available to visualize task statuses and workload distribution among team members. Switching back to the grid page. You can see the things at a glance. Next let's learn how to assign tasks to the relevant team members. Click on assign, then add the email address of the person. Once added, they will automatically become a member of the plan and receive notifications for every activity performed by any assignee. Similarly, you can add other emails for departments such as HR, legal, or admin. However, in this case, I am using a single email ID to demonstrate the process. Now, in the board view, you can also see the assigned team members displayed alongside each task. And in the chart view, you will see a breakdown of tasks by assignee, providing a clear overview of who is responsible for each task. You can add Asini from board view as well. Lastly, you can switch to the schedule view to see monthly or weekly tasks, giving you a clear timeline of upcoming and completed activities, making it easier to manage deadlines and priorities effectively. You can also switch to previous month tasks, allowing for seamless navigation and planning across different time periods. To conclude our tutorial, Here's a quick overview of how Microsoft Planner looks in action. In the grid view, you can see tasks assigned to team members, with their emails added for automatic notifications and updates. In the board view, tasks are visually organized into buckets with drag and drop functionality, labels, and checklists for easy management. The chart view provides a breakdown of tasks by Asini, offering a clear view of responsibilities and task distribution. Finally, the schedule view displays tasks on a weekly and monthly timeline, allowing you to switch between past, current, and future tasks for effective planning. This presentation showcases how Microsoft Planner helps streamline task management and enhance team collaboration. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, 
share, and subscribe. Your support helps me continue creating helpful content. Thank you.